So yes, we have started wedding planning. Big day for the house. We have a week to decide where, where we're getting married. You guys, this jacket just arrived. How stunning is this? I found probably my dream photographer. I forgot to put my moisturizer on. My skin is gonna be unhappy today. Wow. Good morning everybody welcome to a new vlog we have a very exciting day today because today my upstairs bathroom in the renovation half of the house is finally taking place like the tiling is starting and these tiles are the reason that this whole project has taken as long as it has now but i'm so excited to see it go in today i can't even tell you i literally was just having a conversation with my builder about having a shower niche which i am over the moon about i literally it's all i've wanted for so long i've been dreaming of designing my own bathroom so that i could have a shower niche whoa you should not be driving that faster that and like wall lights either side of a mirror have just been like two things that were like non-negotiable for me in this bathroom so i'm really excited for today i'm just so excited as well because once this part is finished we're so close to the end this week is a big week for the reno and things start to get really fun from this point on so i'm just feeling like very relieved it's been like a summer of just things feeling excessively limboy like and that's how, how i keep saying i've been feeling for a good few years now and i finally feel in so many ways that i am like coming out of a big limbo period now and i'm just like i feel like i can breathe so we have lots of big updates this week we have house stuff i need to talk to you about wedding stuff but firstly let's get to the house i am just super excited to be there and spend the day there there is a lot for me to do a lot so we need to get on i'll be back with you guys in a minute we are at the house the tilers are done for the day so i can actually vlog in peace which is stunning so many tiles ready to go i will pop the names of everything on screen but we got our tiles these are carpietra tiles they're insane these look slightly gray but they're actually a white but it's nice because they're like not a brilliant white which is perfect with the flooring ryan and i went really rogue on the floor tiles very unexpected for us but i'm so excited i think it's actually going to look stunning when it is done but these gorgeous long white tiles and they're kind of like they're just not like super perfect they've got more of like a natural look to them but they're still gloss which is just gorgeous and then where are the floor tiles oh the floor tiles are all in upstairs actually so let's go and see them as you can see we are plastered on the staircase the stair rail is in this still needs to be painted this is going to stay this color so this is an oak beam and then i think we have like an oak trim down the bottom as well and then we're going to paint these white along with the walls probably to start with i think we'll just start off simple and then change things as we feel more confident <gasps> wow so this is the bathroom this is the floor so it's like this marbled effect, but it's more of a like orangey brown marble. And I think this is gonna be really gorgeous given the trims for like the shower screen. The shower screen's gonna have a gold trim and I think it just works in really nicely. And then having these tiles with it instead of like the gray, cause the gray was gonna look like very lilac in here. This actually doesn't, it kind of like when it catches the light, you can see that it's white, but when it's out of the sun, it looks more of a gray, but I think that's actually really nice. But this wall's actually not going to have, this is gonna be a white wall and then this wall, this wall, and this wall will have these gorgeous tiles on them. I'll actually pop a little inspo pick in so that you can see like my expectations versus reality because I don't know, this might not come out well, you guys. This might look terrible. So we will see, we'll see how it comes out. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm just, I can't wait. I'm so happy with the floor tiles. I think they are stunning. You can see a little bit better actually over here. It's quite dark in the bathroom at this time of day, but they actually match up really beautifully when the light is hitting the tiles. So I think it's 
going to work really really well and then obviously in the shade they are going to look a little bit more grey but that's very normal the floor will also look a little bit darker in the shade as well so I think they'll match up really nicely but I have been instructed not to walk on this and this is all they can get done for the day because they actually have decided they want the three walls that are being tiled a lot flatter than they already are they just have to be completely perfect if it was bigger tiles it wouldn't matter as much but because they're such tiny tiles if the wall is even slightly imperfect we're gonna know i'm so excited about this floor it's so stunning i can't wait for it to be finished it's probably about the only room in this house that will look stunning and gorgeous when we move in so i will be spending all of my time in there the spare bedroom is also ready to have paint and carpet on the floor we need to get kind of rolling with that this week but we're basically just waiting on everything for the bathroom so that we can then just do all the walls and all the floor and not destroy anything by having all of the like tiling and everything taking place after that kind of annoying but it makes sense that there is like a, a process but yeah it's lovely i'm so excited to get in here now i think it's just going to be the most beautiful space and i'm probably just going to want to spend all my time up here once these rooms are done but yeah i will update you throughout the week as there are more updates i think we'll be back to see how it's looking later this week but i think that is it today for the home updates good morning get me being 15 minutes early for my hair appointment. I'm a changed woman since becoming a fiance. Apparently I'm on time for things now. Who would have thought? Not me and certainly not Ryan. That is for sure. We would never have believed this, but here we are. Please ignore my car, by the way. I, I'm so spoiled from the birthday that has just been and gone that we have an astronomical amount of recycling. Yeah, I know, lives in my car. But yeah, I'm getting my hair done today, thank goodness, because we actually purposefully didn't cut it knowing that I had a warm trip coming up at the end of summer. I mean, to be honest, we still have barley. So today is the day. I actually don't really wanna say goodbye to the hair, but I know it needs a fresh knot. I love this color, this like light brown on the ends. I would love to have just some literally in like the front around the front not even like a scandy hairline not that blonde but just like a few bits woven in around here and just a little bit underneath as well like not not right up to the hairline but kind of balayaged throughout those areas just to give it some like lift because we're just looking so dark and heavy all of the lightness on the ends is from last year the sun just really brings it out when i go out in it so it looks a lot lighter than it did a few months ago. I am tempted to switch it up a bit. We might be switching it up a bit today. We're gonna see if we have time. We might not. I also don't want to ruin my hair if I'm going to get married next year. Things we will talk about later. So yeah, we're gonna see. I also have the rudest gray hair somewhere going through the front of my hair. They usually sit at the back, which I am always so grateful for. Like none of my business can't see back there in my opinion i don't have gray hairs however when they start poking through at the front I, like i saw it the other morning and i was just like wow how dare you i think i can see it you won't be able to see it but rude very rude anyway enough about my hair let's go get it sorted we're doing a thing we are doing a thing we're having some little highlights through the front i will put an inspo pic here of the kind of thing we're thinking of very subtle we're not gonna you know go too crazy my hair will be fine <laughs> it's exciting carla's looking fab today look at all that hair oh my god <laughs> she's like susie turn the camera off make it go away <laughs> okay. brush out is the most satisfying bit hello I am back home. I swear my eyes are about to go square. I've just been staring at my laptop for the longest time trying to get today's video up. So we're back on to a week for now. Come and keep me company in the comments. Keep me motivated. I really, I thrive off of that. So please help me out, encourage me. There is a lot going on at the moment. And should I be adding more to my plate by doing two videos a week? Probably not, but are we doing it anyway? Yes. Yes, we are. I popped into the house after having my hair done. I'm gonna show you my hair tomorrow because I got caught in a little bit of like rain and it just <laughs> game over. So yeah, I'm gonna do it tomorrow and I'll show you like the color in proper daylight. Hopefully it won't be as gray as it's been today because it literally is just disgusting today. I can feel my seasonal sads coming in already. It's just, yeah, don't love it. Don't love anyway, moving on. Can you hear that? This the sound of my sweet, sweet dog losing her mind. The hair 
is not looking cute so i will show you tomorrow but i'm really happy with it we just added like a really subtle amount of lightness underneath the front where it's just looking quite okay where was i we just added like a nice amount of lightness around the front because it was looking quite dark and i find it just really helps to lift the face i went in a lot more subtle than my inspo photo just to make sure that it's not like too damaging over time especially with me going to bali the second my like we bleach my hair and the second i go in the sun that color like goes like times two blonder so sometimes we don't always need to go as blonde straight away as we think we would need to do to get a result sometimes naturally it just lifts out on my hair anyway so it went a bit more subtle but i'm really really happy with it i think it just i look a lot more healthy and i think going into winter that's really important very happy with the hair and then i stopped off at the house so i'll show you now how the bathroom is looking <laughs> I'm really happy with it. I think it's gonna look really good once it's grouted. Right now it looks a bit weird because obviously there's shadow in between the grout, so it really is like standing out as like a design, which it won't once it's actually been done. And now I just can't wait for that whole bathroom to be in. Fingers crossed it looks good. I did not pull out all the stops on the budget, but we're like just crossing our fingers that it looks good. So we are so close to the end now. I honestly cannot wait. Anyway, the same thing. <laughs> I am in that week of the month, you know, we all know. And in this week of the month, I am basically useless to everyone. Like the fact that I am vlogging right now is actually nothing short of a miracle because normally I don't at all. However, I've been feeling quite good this month, probably because I'm on a like post engagement birthday wedding planning high. So we're just gonna roll with it. But I, to make myself feel better because I get super ravenous, like for like two days, of a month i am like insatiable hunger this evening i am going to treat myself to a paella which i haven't made in probably about nine years so this could go really wrong but i'm really craving it so we're gonna give it a go i bought all of the stuff including i have vegan chorizo this stuff is so good if you are vegan you need to try this and i also saw this in the shops it's called shrimpy and it's like fake prawns which is it gonna be like the real thing probably not but i just thought it'd be quite a fun thing to add in i've also got loads and loads and loads and loads of veggies there's more in the fridge as well that i need to get so it's gonna be like nice and full of veggies and i yeah i'm just gonna do a little bit of cooking make myself like a ginormous paella and that is gonna be me for this evening because I just need to be on the sofa, like switching my brain off. So that is going to be my evening. I'll be back with you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. This jacket just arrived. How stunning is this i've been looking forward to this arriving for ages it's from jane and tash i ordered it a few weeks ago actually it's taken a little while to come but it is so gorgeous let me show you it on look at this just wanted to show you super quickly it is so gorgeous and i'm obsessed with it we are about to head out and go to the most exciting place ever the carpet showroom because we need to go and pick out carpet for ryan's hallway and for the staircase upstairs hallway my wardrobe room and guest bedroom so that is our very exciting afternoon so i'll bring you along with us i actually do find this fun <laughs> and then we can check in on the house as well whilst we're out because i actually haven't seen it in a couple of days hello hello right. how are you You're all right, then. you say that but when i was 13 i actually picked picked a bright pink oh, carpet oh. i really like these these are nice i feel like i need to see them in the house i need to be that annoying person yeah i really like the idea of a runner yeah no i like that this is this is what we're going for this is my flooring from the house this is why it's so brilliant working with mike because he literally has done all of the flooring in my house since forever so we have these two samples which we've been trying to decide between and we've literally just put them up against the actual flooring samples for our home and it's really helped make my decision i feel like this is the one i'm going to go for we're going to take both home and just double check but i really would like to have this going up the stairs with a black trim this is our 
inspo image. I think it's going to work really nicely. Just tell me what it's all colour, but uh, what range, but not what colour. Uh, so I'm these are sweet. the samples for Ryan's house. Well, I'm thinking somewhere like around here. Oh, so a bit more brown than what you already have. I feel like you have some one of these already. I'd maybe go for one of these so that the because you've got quite a cool undertone to the carpet that already is in there. So, Although I really like chinchilla weave just because it's called chinchilla. Right, we're gonna have to redo all the bedrooms. <laughs> Ryan's just realized what carpet's made out of. To be fair, I thought they were all like synthetic or a lot of No, them, but these ones are. I like, like this one, the wardrobe room. I just want something really fluffy, borderline impractical. What do we think? It does feel really nice. I kind of want to like just stand on it, but that's obviously, we're not going to do that. But I kind of want to know what it feels like under my toes. Is this a bad idea? It's definitely a no shoes situation. Ryan's picking samples for his house. What are you thinking, honey? So that's what I've got in the bedrooms already. Okay, I think lovely. that's the darkest option for the hallway. Okay. So much go for that. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> Deep feelings. <laughs> Sounds like a bit of me. I just have a lot of feelings. Yeah, actually, Michael, this is, yeah, this is good. An excellent shout. Oh, that's nice. I feel like I wanted something brighter, but they feel so nice. Like these. Oh, that's nice. Oh, she fluffy. Okay. Mm. All right, I need to find something that goes with this. Whoa. Look at that. Sensational. Oh my God, it feels unreal. It is impractical. It's beautiful, it's bright. I have no notes. We've got three very fluffy carpet samples. Still think I'm leaning towards this one, especially now I'm seeing them all on camera. And then we've got these two samples for the hallway. What do we think, guys? Gold bar? I really like this. Okay, we are at the house and I've decided on my flooring samples. We're going for a big, squishy, impractical, plush carpet in here and a really, really light color and it's gonna be gorgeous and then we've got this slightly like beigey little biscuity toned carpet for the hallway and it's gonna run into the other bedroom as well I think and then down the stairs and it's going to have like a contrast trim on the edges and I think it's gonna look so good not putting this in the guest bedroom though because I think it will not be practical if it ever becomes a kids bedroom or whatever so we're just gonna keep this to in here for me to ruin and me alone and then look at the bathroom you guys it looks so cool i'm so, i literally i hadn't seen it since obviously the update earlier in this vlog this is it's like it kind of blew me away a little bit i am so happy with these tiles we got all of the tiles from carpietra i will link them if they are on the website they're unreal like i am so happy with them. I love the texture. I love like the kind of different tones. I'm so happy with it now. It's been grouted as well. They matched the grout so well. I just left it to the tilers to match and yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's all come out and how it, it's kind of like smoothed and glossed everything over. When there was no grout, I was like, oh, this looks a bit wild, but I'm so happy with how this has come out and they've done a little marble or porcelain, sorry, trim across the edge as well which looks lovely it obviously needs filling and stuff but this is so satisfying big day for the house i also just picked some like lovely gold trims for all of the doorways as well which look so sick good morning it is nice and early and my brain is already frazzled this morning i have been looking for wedding photographers now you might be wondering susie how are you looking for wedding photographers when you literally just got engaged and you don't have a date. And on that note, I feel like we need to rewind a little bit. Hello, good afternoon, that's Susie. Yes, hi, how are you? You guys have always thought about getting married abroad. Yes, definitely. So this venue's fantastic. You've got 360 degrees views. The indoor bit, the rooftop, it actually opens up. Wow. You can have it where the roof is closed, but you can also have the roof where it opens up. So it's, you've got that indoor, outdoor feel. Oh my god, I love that. That's amazing. You have the photographer for two hours. You can upgrade the photographer. You've got the videographer for one hour. You can upgrade the videographer if you wish. Okay. We're already starting the planning for next year. So uh, I hate to put pressure on you, but I would say about a week. <laughs> we have a week to decide on where, where we're getting married. Okay. 
we've just paid our wedding venue. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? Yes, I am. I feel like I don't look excited, it's hard on camera. It's early. It's early. <laughs> to give you a little bit of context, after we got back from Ibiza, we were in our gorgeous little honeymoon bubble, which everyone kept telling me, like, enjoy this bit, this is such a nice bit, blah, 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 blah. And I had every intention of just, like, literally reveling in that, like, love to celebrate, love to, like, have an excuse to see people and just, like, see all my family and just have a fun time together. However, it dawned on me that we were looking to have an abroad wedding. And then I started thinking about the fact that, obviously, like, very, very soon, lots of the, like, hotels and just general destinations in European countries, they shut down for the winter or they're, like, a lot less active some of them some of them completely shut down not all of them i started thinking like what if i am just emailing brick walls and speaking to brick walls until like early april what am i gonna do we were talking about potentially getting married in 2024 i was like i don't really understand how we're expecting to do this if everywhere is literally shutting down in like a week and everyone thought I was a bit silly for worrying about that like everyone was like no 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 you're fine but I did ask I was like how long do I have to like make a decision and they were like a week and that seemed to be the general running theme throughout the first week was just some people even like borderline just laughing at me like uh, you want to be a 2024 bride that's hilarious so it became clear very quickly that we needed to crack on so yes we have started wedding planning i started off by just narrowing down the locations there were several european locations that we were really interested in and i was like do you know what if we want to do this in 2024 and not like 2045 we're gonna need to only pick a few locations and then really narrow down uh, search. You can spend so much time just researching locations. Unfortunately, there are quite a few European locations that we do know well. And I've spent the past week trying to get my hands on a lot of different quotes. I wanted to really get a feel for like what to expect what is going on here from different venues and different services and what like the kind of average cost of things were which is just I already knew it was just going to be very expensive all around I was fully already prepared for that that's fine and I can't lie trying to do it on a bit of a time crunch it has been not necessarily the most enjoyable process but I knew it was a situation that would be very short-lived and that we would hopefully find somewhere and then once we found somewhere I could really start to have a lot of fun with things and things would just generally be more relaxed like once you've got the venue you just know that all you need is like outfits and people and photographers <laughs> photographers and you can just show up it's fine she says but trying to do all that on your birthday week is uh interesting like there was just one day where ryan and i were talking about wedding stuff and he was like i am so overwhelmed and i am not even the lead on this like i don't understand how you're doing it which made me feel really good sometimes you really downplay like when you feel a bit overwhelmed and you're like no i have no reason to feel like this everything is fine and i was like oh that was nice and validating. Thanks for that. We looked at a range of locations. I actually don't know whether I will tell you yet where our location is. I might tell you at some point, I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. All of this is happening quite quickly. So I don't know how much information to give. TBC, but we have a venue, which is so exciting. I also think I found a videographer and I spent the morning looking at photographers this morning. They seem to get booked up very far in advance. So those have been my kind of next port of calls. It's actually been so hard not to talk to you guys about it in the last vlog. I honestly, all I've wanted to do is talk about it because it's been all that's been consuming my mind because the speed at which I just wanted to lock it down, I just really didn't want to miss the boat and then be, I know you can kind of pick things back up in April, but that would just be too much of a tight turnaround for me. I would be so stressed. I just wanted, I just wanted it off my mind. Like I, I wouldn't work very well over the next six months if that was still like playing on the back of my mind. It's been very all encompassing on my brain and it's all I've been wanting to talk to you guys about. But at the same time, I knew the second I spoke about it, there would probably be like an insane amount of feedback and people trying to be really helpful. But sometimes that when you have too many 
opinions all at once it's so overwhelming so i'd rather tell you once i've like gotten to a stage it was really difficult not telling you guys i found probably my dream photographer last night and i'm really really hoping that they are available on our date but yeah we have a date we have a date i'm really really excited about it i have my first wedding dress try on appointment on saturday because i need to get moving with that nice and quickly as well but that is where i am at i'm so i honestly it feels feels so good to tell you i'm so excited i'm taking my mum i basically i have a few different try ons booked in over the next couple of months but I'm taking my mom to this one specifically I booked it in for her because I really wanted her to I don't think she'll come to London for all of my like different try-ons so I booked this for her so that she still gets to have that like first wedding dress try-on experience it's just really important to me that she had that and my sister-in-law to be is coming with me and I'm so excited anyway we need to crack on with the day and i need to actually get on with some of this wedding planning we also have a vague color scheme as well which i'm really excited about i think we're do you know what i feel like we're getting there i know the flowers i'm getting to grips with like the shots i want in terms of the photos rough color scheme i'm picking my bridesmaids know the rough color scheme for them potentially i think i can chill you know there's probably so many things that i've missed i feel like we know what we're doing in terms of like djs ish i'm leaving that to ryan ryan's already picked the first dance song he needs to pick my aisle song i don't even or do i need to pick my aisle song if it's me picking my aisle song probably have something like fergie glamorous or something ridiculous like that so maybe it's better that he picks it yeah so fun anyway we need to get on with the day because i actually need to do more stuff for that i've got so many photographers that i still need to get in touch with but i wanted to show you my hair quickly it needs a brush out but look at this that color is sensational it looks so natural carla you have outdone yourself i actually would love if we could like maybe add a tiny bit more and then have that running like throughout the lengths back here that would yeah that would be wonderful so like quite high up here and then have it like just a little bit higher would be really nice but like i said we're gonna kind of do it very slowly in the run up to next year and hope that it just looks really soft and natural our favorite way to kind of add highlights to my hair is always super super slowly because it will look completely different in like a month from now so yeah we're just gonna do it really slowly bit by bit it's a process but it will be so worth it i feel like it's already really lifted my skin tone like it, it yeah perfect like i love the dark root and i wanted to say brunette but we just needed a little bit of like lightness especially going into winter because i look so ashy in the winter i love it i'm obsessed oh, actually do you know what has kept me so sane slash borderline not sane i mean would we ever describe me as sane i mean the fact that i am a bit of a psycho has massively helped us out the past couple of weeks really so I'm just gonna lean into it this podcast has massively kept me holding it together the past week it's newlyweds or now newlyweds by jamie lang and sophie habu and i have loved this i feel like i am on their journey with them right now because when they started they were stressed about a venue and i was stressed about a venue and now as i listen to it i kind of like i'm almost at the same stages as them i mean i need to do do i need to do save the date invites i feel like i've just whatsapped everyone and been like hold this date but like they're on like save the dates at the moment and bits like that and like their guest list which actually we are now starting to do because we're gonna have a uk wedding so this has been like my bible i have thoroughly enjoyed listening to it but yeah that is where we are at ryan also started talking to me about an engagement party last night and i am honestly sweating i'm like <laughs> i just need to i just need to book in the, like the wedding first we've got engagement parties we have a uk wedding to plan i am gonna be so busy but i can't wait and i can't wait to bring you with me and i can't wait for saturday to try on 